Nice pot of tea. Check. Plenty of cream cakes. Check. Box of tissues. Check. Oh, all set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. <sighs> Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just stop. And a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. You don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But, Mum, Mr Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech? Mm-hmm. Apparently Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band, a rubber band? Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move, the Flying Fangling with Twist. My kingdom for a rubber... dog. Darling, how could they not? You're young. Oh, goodness, what now? <laughs> Mum, Nash has hurt a tooth in a freak wrestling accident. All right, let me see. Oh, Nash, you better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum, see ya. And you, back in the garden. Now! Yes, dear, right away, dear. <laughs> Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then, let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. I think we've found the little rascal. <laughs> Nasha, what's she doing to me best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. And now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. don't think so. Who begins? Sorry, Dudley. It's an emergency. I'll give it back later. <sighs> you little pests. You just wait. Ouch! Yeah. Oopsie. We should be able to lose the dentist in here. Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm are having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, onto the table. Now, Mr Big Bucks and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Who was it again? Oh, yes, me. Oh. 
Are you all right, Nasha? I'm not surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A pray silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? Go on, dear. You'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paper clips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasha. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first distorted paper clip. Nasha! resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard metal non-coated variety. Of course, both rubber bands and paper Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Stick together. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. That's too much. <laughs> was a mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and his horrible dog. <laughs> hey, easy. What the heck are you wearing? <laughs> so, you think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> That's that Mr. Magnifico! <laughs> Stop it, Afro Hulk! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Big Box! <laughs> How can I ever apologize? Uh, 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 apologize? What for? Great! <laughs> Wonderful conference, Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Big Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets! <laughs> of course, Dennis! <laughs> Here, you'll need money for drinks and eats, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernando! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoul is laughing. <laughs> oh, oh, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs>
would have thought it. Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, it's Dennis! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs, so... Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right. <sighs> oh. Here we are, son. All right. I mean. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, uh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the uh, all the dog hairs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment. Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> no. I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? It's time for Plan B. I hope there are no horrible dogs about. Uh, woof, 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 uh, etc, etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Ow! Easy, mate! Help, help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Ow! Oh! Alright, dog. 
Let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ha! Ruff! Ruff! Here I am, in the van. Woof! Woof! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! Oh. Right, who did that? It was a naughty boy. A very naughty boy. Oh, wait. Was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, but where... where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasher. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a plate of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> <laughs> And when you've eaten your num-nums, oh. you can put on your special cozy-wozies! Ah. <laughs> That's me dog! <laughs> My precious needlework! Ruined! Ungrateful mongrel! I'll choose a new favourite doggy! Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. Poor old Nasher, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasher? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. Class, today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. 
How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mm. Lemon drops. <laughs> I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <laughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. <gasps> it's awesome! It's tiny. <gasps> oh, boys, really? What's that dog doing here? Ah, oh, well, he's interested in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes, this buckle is evidence that Bino Town was once home to a warrior mm. tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honor to meet you! I've read all your books! Ah, oh, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real warrior tribe stuff. Come on! <laughs> wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasha. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha! Stop! Wait for us! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that bone! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Damn it! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. Walter, it's me! I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe! Mmm, an ancient warrior pie! Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them! How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Kevin, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. 
Don't try to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure of the Lost Tribe! What's with the weird moves? Come on! We've got to stop him! we got to defend my ancestors' treasure! I just can't believe it! Professor Smith! I, I don't understand! I thought you... <laughs> A booby trap! Ah! Oh, those eggs must be hundreds of years old! God, no wonder they whiff. That's why Smith was doing those strange moves. That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too. No time to hang around, Walter. If we follow Smith, he'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. So old, it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! Leave me alone! I'm fine! I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all! <laughs> Thousand-year-old gunge! Jump for it! Treasure of the Lost Tribe! And that's gotta be King Dennis! Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone! Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure, and I'm not gonna let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Take that! <laughs> oh, 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 you little one! Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me. <laughs> Told you they were fierce. Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. <laughs> Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief, but it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. It was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say, you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I'd, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. Is that what I think it is? It is. Oh, hey, hey, the coolest computer game console ever. It's not even out till next week. 
father knows the boss at the Way Hay Factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> What's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite! I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Why you're so good? You turn games into homework. Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> But I should be allowed to do some homework, too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> I don't know. Is it chicken? 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 It's a deal, but if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> Just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? <laughs> if I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form fill-in. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <gasps> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on a way, hey! Hmm... A good citizen's home is a dust-free home. This 
is where they make the way. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Dinismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Moe! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, um, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> had a hundred fleas, you owe me an ice cream. Oh! See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't 
you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. How did that get there? It should be in its proper place. Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrim. He mustn't see you here. Quick! Ah, oh, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter, he's here for the summer to learn the business. Why are there rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> Come on, Walter. I'll show you the canteen. Uh, how about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need. I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. <coughs> Quality, elasticity, efficiency... Herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. <laughs> My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. <laughs> What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter, there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbacks, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked, huh? Yes, sir. What have you got there? Paperclips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. 
so I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me Dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashi. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me Dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes? Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is. And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three! Run for it, lads! <laughs> Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Box. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with a lemonade and cake? Forget it, Dane. I think Pie Face is in love. Dad, 
Dennis? We have someone we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, You'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Uh, uh, Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr. Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh! I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, look, he's smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing any more of this! Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the Contemplation Kennel. <laughs> We're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, oh, good to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> okay, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can. 
Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. you got to take a note to curl him pie face. <laughs> Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yoghurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know, if he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right. You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, He's going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walters, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, uh, look at me. I'm Rainy. Whee! It can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter. Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Den. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad. If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely. Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result. <laughs> <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. Oh! 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 